Well, hello everyone, Texie88 here and welcome to another review. And now I'm taking a look at the um, Amiga game, Apidia. A horizontally scrolling shoot 'em up with uh, some music by, by the legend that is Chris Hilsbeck. And you get this, uh, anim this animated intro as well. Oh, look at that. Very anime-esque as, well, as you can see. Evil Lord of Black Magic Hexay commands his forces to wreak havoc on the peace-loving couple of Yuri and Ikuro. A swarm of thousand mutated insects is about to fulfill its fatal mission. Oh no, what happened to my beloved Yuri? And off he runs. As Ikuro finally returns home, he finds the life of his wife spoiled by the poison of Hexae's creatures. Oh dear, she does look in a sorry state. My poor Yuri, I'll go and seek for the magic antidote. And make the dark wizard pay for his diabolic deeds. So, transforming himself into a wasp. As you do. Keep the level normal, give myself five lives, and I'm definitely using the second button. Pad, yeah, that'll do. Start. Right, just need to do a quick switcheroo. That didn't quite work out, hang on. That's better. So I had some had sort of flaw disc swapping there. Right, so you get this little tune playing as the next bit loads. So, basically we've turned these around the plate. here we go. And you've got that charged weapon as well. Oh god, that's a good start. I thought I was just going to get away with that. Self reverse the speed, that should make things a little easier. Oh, I, I, I love the music in this. This game contains my favourite music out of all of that which I've heard of Christine's deck. Everything just looks looks and sounds fantastic. No, I definitely want to get this. So you said this, that's better. Yeah, that's giving me a little bit of shielding. Something from 
have to give myself some boost for weapon boosting. until I take uh, take too many hits and then it goes back to normal. And then, of all the things you could be fighting in a video game, you bet a lot of people never thought they'd be fighting against a caterpillar. Yeah, definitely want to get that. Then you get this bonus stage where you try and collect the uh, the uh, the angels, but avoid the dev the de devils. Oh, crocky, that was close. Ah, oh, damn it. Hopefully I'll be able to boost up my weapons a bit better. Oh, crikey. Yeah, I'll give myself a bit of a bomb. That should make it a little easier. And notice I've still got my shield. If you did well enough, you can probably keep that as long as you probably uh, as long as you like. Slow down there. Right, I can bomb upwards as well as downwards. That should help me out a bit. But the only downside is I took a little bit of a hit there and lost my shield. And now I'm taking on a mole. Slow down when there's a lot on the screen, though, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, crikey, that was close. Get past those, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, that's. Yeah, this is a really satisfying shooter, and the music's just excellent. And even though there's lots of colour, I'm never not having any real problems seeing bullets coming towards me. They they sort of blink different colours to make it a bit easier to spot them. Oh, oh bloody hell! Oh yeah, but don't get me wrong, though it's a pretty tricky shooter. Shields from that um, mushroom earlier. Was it a toadstool? I don't know. It's a bit of a, sh a, bit of a nu nuisance that you can't shoot through bullets. It's kind of irritating. Crocky, that was close. 
Oh, blast! I'm going to keep struggling to get past this bit. Irritating me now. Not easy. Now I've lost all my bombs. It's going to make it even harder still. Ghosted in the bottom weapons by if it's no longer possible to power it up anymore. I do have a shield, it will only take so many hits before it disappears, although it should take more hits than it did last time because I was able to pick up more of those things from that mushroom. My understanding is the more of those you pick up, the better protected you'll be. Oh, this is an absolutely delightful shooter. Ooh. Yeah, I, I managed to defeat that a lot quicker because I managed to get that five on that five way try and collect as many of these angels as possible no oh. ideally you want to try and stay as far to the left as possible to give you a maximum reaction time I don't know how many you have to collect or how long this lasts Damn it! I made that same mistake last time, I think. I'll give it one more power up and then I'll be able to get an option. Because you I can destroy those things, I've not been able to thus far. Oh! Oh, crikey, this is good. We get past that so they, they can't shoot. Oh. 
Oh, I've got an option now. Should make it a little easier still. If you, there's actually a different version for two, simultaneous two-player mode in which uh, in which the second player controls an option that's pretty much always there until it. The downside is that that player can't actually pick up any power-ups because of because of what they. I've still got a pretty good shield, so hopefully that'll stand me in good. Uh, two, two options now. Oh, blast! So much for that shield. I think you diddly dick. My weapons are substantially weak, and at least I've still got one option at the moment. But losing my five way is a bit of a major problem. Well, I think I managed to destroy one of those just then, but I'm not so sure. I get past them for a little bit of shooting at me. As long as I stay directly above it and don't get too far to the left, I'll be alright. well against that bloody mole and, I, and even with that shield I got taken out in pretty much one hit. Oh you dinkler! What did I do that for? Tricky game. I mean, I've still got one bomb, but I've got no. I've got no option now. So I'll just have to make do with the uh, twin bombs. This is still a great shoot, and I still highly recommend it. It's just, it's just quite challenging. Damn, I've lost my shield. Now I've lost a life. Oh, this is so bloody hard. Yeah, I did hit that five times, but I also took a knock, so I lost one of those times. Oh, damn it, I didn't need to do that. Oh, I've lost my shield. Wits 
about here in this game. Still a good game, it's just challenging. And look at these oh look at these wonderful graphics and music and sound is superb. Oh miss that. So much detail in those graphics, so it's a superb game. I just absolutely love the music in this. I was hoping I'd be able to, um, when I was doing playthroughs in preparation for this review, I was hoping that I'd be able to get as far as I did to there and then, because unfortunately, I don't think it's quite working out for me on this run for this review. There, where I crashed the first time. I don't know, I can't remember. I'm too busy concentrating to. Oh! So hard to play and, 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 uh, and talk at the same time. Right, that's got my feet way back. But I still have not the fact this is my last life. stuff uh, later, you know, later on that I really wanted to show you and I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity because I keep getting... Ah, oh, no I'm not. Damn it. I completely misread that. Oh, one more attempt. Ah, uh, God. I really want to be able to show you some bits beyond the uh, mob.
very playable. It's just it's just really challenging. It does suffer from a little bit of slowdown when the screen gets busy. Well, no, right by whatever creep beetle type thing you are trying to shoot me. Let's have another go at this blooming angels and demons thing. Maybe it doesn't have an end, I don't know, I can't remember. I mean, I used to have a friend who used to be really good at this. What? I thought, oh, I thought I was going to get away with that. I thought my wings were just going to miss those uh, devils. Sometimes see deposited from enemies, those are the power of flowers we collect. Right. Oh, I've got a shield. I went too far to get the option, so I just went for the shield instead. done without uh, taking that hit just then. I thought I was going to do so well and then I then that thing with that moth that mole fired at me got my just scraped my nether regions. Still get an option after all. Don't drop it would be enough. Yes, and there's actually a secret here if you go down dead in the middle of this mole hill. There's a bo another bonus stage. Just got, got to try and avoid every all of these, the sides and these. Oh, collect these flowers. Sorry, I don't know why it's so it's taking slowing down. Oh god, I hate this bit. Oh god. Oh, I thought I was doing so well there. Well, at least I get to show you another bit with some new, different music you haven't heard this thus far. Damn it, what did that... 
Oh. oh! I'm so annoyed about that. Ah, something's wrong with the thing that it's something wrong wrong with the computer. Oh, God. I don't know if it's safe to touch the spider's web. I know it's obviously not safe to touch the spider. Lost all my weapons now. Just got no. Oh, I had no chance without my extra weapons. I was, it was. I was. It was like trying to take on Goliath through the pea shooter. So that's Apidia for the Commodore Amiga. Absolute cast iron classic, and um, and uh, it's. Challenging but sort of fun nonetheless. Graphics really nice, loads of detail, loads of colour, well drawn, well realised, and 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 the sound effects are really superb throughout. And I, I as ever, I love the music. And as I said earlier, this uh, this game contains my favourite music out of all of that which Chris Hinsbeck has ever composed. So. I, I I always uh, did have a soft spot for Apidia. Ever the moment I, the moment my friend introduced the game to me, and I heard the, the wonderful soundtrack, gameplay, challenging, yes, but uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, nonetheless addictive and in, and still enjoyable. And yeah, yeah, I. I I really enjoy it. It, it. It's one of one of my, one of my most beloved shoot 'em ups um, that I've ever played, and even though it, it irritates the hell out of me and is challenging, I I can't be too mean to it. It's, I mean, what other games? Do you, uh, how many other games in which do you get to control a wasp? And no, it's not all set in gardens. In case you're wondering. I won't spoil the surprise, but it's not all in that garden, which is. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'd happily give Apidia nine out of ten. It is quite challenging, but it's still very good and and definitely worth uh, your attention. Hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Texie eighty eight out.